In this lesson, you'll learn how to prepare a design for contour cutting around images on a print. This is useful for applications such as making decals, or for crafts such as scrapbooking. While we will demonstrate the process using Adobe Illustrator with Cutting Master 4, keep in mind that the process is similar to using Corel Draw with Cutting Master 4. If you are using software other than Adobe Illustrator and Cutting Master 4, consult your software manual for details on this process. To start, we've created a design full of decals. Around each decal is a cut line path. A necessary step is to place the objects on two different layers. One layer will contain all objects to be printed, and one layer will contain all cut lines. Thus, everything on the print layer will be sent to the printer, and everything on the cut layer will be sent to the cutter. That's how we set up this design. To see this, if we turn off the print layer, we can see the cut lines. The next step in this process is to create registration marks. Think of registration marks as a way of providing a mapping system for the cut lines in cases where the media is loaded in the cutter at a slight angle. To create registration marks, click on the File pull-down menu, hover the mouse over Cutting Master 4, select Registration Marks, and the Registration Mark Generator window appears. The settings that are generally used are on the left side of the window, but let's first click OK to create the registration marks and get an idea of how and where they are placed. As you can see, it has used the artboard corners to place four registration marks. These would be fine, but often this can cause issues where the registration mark scanner has a hard time finding the registration marks since they are so close to the edge. The better way to create registration marks when printing on sheets of various sizes is to first create a rectangle where the corners can be used to place the four registration marks. Let's do this. Let's create a rectangle where its corners will be used for the placement of the registration marks. To convert the rectangle to four registration marks, return to the registration mark generator. In this window, let's enable convert rectangle. We can also reduce the length of the registration marks to a quarter of an inch since the distance between is not far enough to warrant larger registration marks and click OK. By placing the registration marks using a rectangle for position, it provides plenty of margin for the registration mark scanner to find the marks. At this point, when you send the design to be printed, make sure the cut layer is disabled so that the cut line won't appear on your print. Once your print is complete and it's been loaded onto the CE Lite cutter, open the Cutting Master 4 cut plot window. There are a couple of adjustments to the settings that you need to check. First, click on the last tab towards the top and make sure the Use Registration Mark is enabled. Next, click on the second tab or the Layers Options tab and disable the print layer that contains the print objects. This way you'll avoid cutting all those paths accidentally. All we have to do now is click Send and this message is instructing us to move the tool head over the top of the first registration mark located in the top left corner. So let's do that before we click OK. Recall we do this by pressing the Move Tool button. This will take us to a menu that will allow us to move the tool over the first registration mark, which is the front left registration mark as you are facing the cutter. Now we can click OK, and the cutter will scan for the four registration marks. Once the registration marks are scanned, the cutter will cut the cut paths. And here are the results.